Jackie Jackson. Hello YouTube, this is Jacob Torres from wikijackson.com and welcome to part 2 of our Dreamweaver tutorial series. In this tutorial I'll show you how to make some images just for the background and the header of your website. Uh, this is going to be a very quick tutorial and it's just so that we have some images to put into the website for the next tutorial when we actually start building the main part of the website. So in the last tutorial we showed you how to set up a basic uh, testing server and how to set up a basic website in Dreamweaver and link it to that testing server. So we just put a header and a paragraph in there just to show you and we set up the server using MAMP. Uh, if you need to know more information about setting this up then just go into the first tutorial it should be in the description and I'm sure it will be in the related video sidebar in YouTube also. But let's get started. For my images I'm going to be using fireworks so we'll let that load and I am using uh, Creative Suite 6 for all of my Adobe products in, during this series so we'll let fireworks load okay so once fireworks is loaded you're gonna create a new fireworks document make it 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels and right now we're just gonna shift command s we'll just save as and we're going to name it background and we're gonna save it in that test site folder on that we made on our desktop and we're gonna create a new folder and call it images and we're just gonna put that background in there alright now we're gonna make a rectangle it can be any size really oh, whoops. let's do something like that and change it in here the width to 2000 the height also to 2000 x to 0 and y to 0 that'll just make it the size of the full document and center it uh, perfectly and we're going to add a gradient fill and we're going to make it a ripple gradient actually hmm. How about this one, a contour gradient, I guess. And we're going to set the colors down here. We'll set this color to be red, I guess, which the hex code is FF0000 for red. And we'll set the other one to, mm, I guess, a blue, which the hex code for blue, oops. The hex code for blue is 0000FF. Same thing as red, just the Fs are in different places. Uh, that looks interesting. I guess uh, we'll find out what it looks like in the actual website, but we're just going to keep that for now, so save that. And go File, New, and now we're going to make the width 900, and the height, uh, we'll make it 200. And that looks pretty good and we're going to save this one as so shift command s or save as we're going to save it as banner and that same images folder that we created before and make sure your images are in the png uh, file extension which stands for portable networks trafficking i believe i hope i'm right anyways we're just going to make a rectangle and again it doesn't matter what size it is because we're going to change it over here so with 900 height whoa that's not right with 900 height um, 200 I believe I said the X and Y are just gonna be 0 0 okay so now it's like that and again it's gonna be a gradient this time a linear gradient and we're just gonna get the select tool Oops. and we're going to turn the gradient sideways and you can adjust this however you would like so we'll center that pull this out a bit bring it back this way a bit more so have a nice smooth gradient throughout the whole thing it looks nice and we'll change the colors to be a dark gray so 3333 three, 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 a bunch of three should be good enough and we'll use 
I don't want to use a white, it just seems too minimalistic. I guess, hmm, sure we'll just use white for time's sake. So something like that, and again you can adjust this however you would like. So that looks very, fairly good, you're going to get text, and you're going to put your website name, or you could put anything, whoops, put anything here, like if you notice on Wiki Jackson, which I'll show you right here, come on, there we go, wikijackson.com, you can see our header is right here, we just have wikijackson.com, and we actually incorporated our navigation bar into the header, and I will show you how to do a cool rollover uh, navigation bar just like this in later videos. So you can go ahead and check that out on our website and look forward to this tutorial later. So you could have, of course, you can add all these cool effects and fireworks. Like I said, and I'm keeping mine very basic. So I'm just going to add test site. We'll center this using the grid lines. Bionic Comic is a good font, meaning that that's the font that Wiki Jackson uses. 96 for the size. Again, center it like so and mm, we'll set the opacity to actually we'll keep that 100 and we'll give it a drop shadow make it a bit more dispersed and a bit farther out maybe not so much so that looks pretty good and we'll also add mm, we'll just add a glow and we'll set the color to be a light blue like I said you can mess with all this stuff I really don't care I'm just trying to get something so that looks alright I guess alright so we're just gonna save that again as the banner.png and close both those fireworks windows and quit that and that's basically it for this tutorial like I said it'll be very short it's just how to make some basic images just to get your starting website going thanks for watching and stay tuned for part three